Going on Design Tutorial Series, today we're going to look at making a simple change to your VTiger installation that will make it look professional. So as you can see here from our installation on the login page that you have a page tile that displays in the web browser. I've updated mine to say Monine Design for all your web design needs. Now the default is something along the lines of VTiger open source software. So we want to get rid of that and make your site look really good and we're going to do that by going to the cPanel and accessing our files. Now if you're hosted with mode9design.com it's simply your URL here followed by the word cPanel. I'm just going to type that in. Now I'm already logged in in a web browser on the other side of the screen so I'll skip the login page but you obviously would need to put in your username and password before getting here. If we scroll down the page, I'm looking for File Manager here. And I'm going to allow the pop-ups. Now, when you click on File Manager, it always defaults to the file that you have set it as, which is normally the root folder for the main domain that you have. I'm going to go ahead and open that folder and show you how to find your installation files. So if this is not familiar, this is essentially like your My Documents if you're using a PC. And all these little folders and files hold the information about your website and the operations to keep it going. Now if you go back here just to your installation files for VTiger, you'll see the name of the folder that we need to access. Now this folder always sits in the public HTML folder. So I'm going to go there and expand it. I just scroll down until I see the word star. There you go. I'm going to open this folder. And I'm looking for a folder called include. There we go. And I'm looking for another folder called language. There we go. So just to give you that directory um, structure again, public HTML, the name that you've given to your installation, include language. Now these files here are where you make the changes to the web, pro uh, web page browser title. The default for any VTiger installation is ENUS or English US. However, there are some other options. It's good practice to change all options to appear the same. You never know how someone might operate, open your site or where they might access it from. Also future uh, proofing things. Stuff like this can make things look a little unprofessional um, later on in the, in the time after your site expands. So simply open that with the code editor and we're looking for a title and a Actually, the very first line of the page might seem easy. I'll just give that time to open up. And a v uh, l v l underscore browser underscore title. You can see there where I've written my information. I'm going to add a line here because I'm, I made a mistake when I typed it in. I forgot to write in for all your small business we've designed these because that's our slogan. Just going to save it. Now I'm going to go check to see if it looks like the way I want it to before I close it. This is the way it was. Let's refresh that page. And there you go. It's been updated. Looking nice and professional. Definitely a lot better than VTiger open source software. Now it's also good coding practice to go and close the files. This one you can close there. And this one up here, you simply press log out. It's always good for security to do that. And then close the web browser. So that's it folks. That's a tutorial on how to change the web browser title for your VTuber installation.